these are your hard facts. This is the big three. The big three on the hard facts on ninety nine point three Nigeria Info. Why hasn't the Interior Ministry cracked down on the passport racket? Will we case grievance with Atiku damage the PDP's chances? Will Amechi's grievance with Tinubu over Abe and Wike damage the APC's chances? Those are the big three. Lagos, let's talk. Uh, the interior minister says that there's no passport booklet shortage. That's our first story. Ralph Aregbeshola was in Port Harcourt to commission the new uh, passport production center there. And he talked about the problems that people are having with getting new passports, right? It's affected me personally because my partner was trying to get a new passport for months. He captured in February. They told him to come back within six weeks. He kept going and going and going. No way. They were telling him uh, there's a booklet uh, shortage. There's a booklet shortage. It was when he now started shouting and threatening to file a complaint, they now finally processed him. And he got his passport in July. Now, Rebbe is saying that there is no booklet uh, shortage. Instead, he's blaming a racket inside the NIS. He said, quote, we have introduced far-reaching reforms with uh, which some unscrupulous elements continue to frustrate and subvert with corrupt acts. These unscrupulous entities are both within our service and outside the service. The menace of touting, inflation of price, delay in processing application, withholding of passport are some of the challenges that we face and we appeal to Nigerians to help eliminate these malpractices. There must be zero tolerance for these practices if we want to build a great nation. The NIS has been provided with sufficient booklets to all passport offices nationwide. There are 13,000 booklets in Lagos, while the Port Harcourt office has 10,000. I urge those intending to obtain their passports to apply early to avoid delays. There's wait and get passport service worldwide. For fresh applicants, they are to wait six weeks and three weeks for renewals, end quote. That's the minister speaking there. The minister is asking Nigerians to help him fight the bad practices at the passport office. He mentioned touting. He mentioned uh, price inflation. He mentioned withholding of passports. But I wonder how much control regular citizens even have over things like this. Because my partner did not bribe anybody. Maybe that's why his passport took five months instead of three weeks. But here's the thing. The ministry should be able to detect these issues. Because already almost everything is on the NIS servers. You apply online, they process your biometrics and upload onto the server. Uh, when the booklet is printed, the status should be updated on the server. It, if it's not updated, the ministry should be able to see that, okay, what's happening? They're not updating this thing. So when I look at that, I think that the ministry should do uh, sh should should give Nigerians a place on the portal to check for the status of their passports. And the portal says, oh, my passport is ready. But I go to the office, they tell me another story. There should be another place on that portal where I can report it. I should be able to click on pick up not allowed or something like that. I don't know. What do you think? And then the ministry of the NIS should swing into action to find out why the office did not give me my passport. That's, of course, uh, if indeed the minister is trying to solve problem and people in the passport office are frustrating him and this is not just lip service. But what do you think? What do you think about Ralph Aregbeshola saying that passports know the short? See, na, na fraud, they happen for NIS. See, na people with the inside NIS, they frustrate the process. Do you think the interior ministry is doing enough to checkmate those people? 
Women call us on 01465-7190. 01465-7190. Men call us on 0700-993-993-993. Uh, of course, we've got uh, WhatsApp as well. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. Hello. Thank you for calling us. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Sandra. Good evening to you. Yeah, my name is Kofi. Hi, Top Boy. Welcome. Yeah. Please. That NRS issue is the thing that the, the agency itself. I'm a living example. Last year, December, I registered online myself. I printed out my payment, uh, evidence, and everything and took it to their office. They frustrated on my uncle, Sandra. Hmm. They will tell me, okay, self-processing, right? Okay, go to this lane. Then self-processing, right? Go to this lane. I was so frustrated. They don't want to self-processing yourself. They don't, they, they, don't, they, don't want, they don't like that you're processing it by yourself. They don't like it. Mm. They don't like it. They don't want to Oh, yeah. your, your your network isn't very good, Tokwe. Maybe give us a call back, if that's possible. Please call us back. Have you tried to get your passport this year? I'm asking about those who have tried to get a passport this year because some of the reforms that Ralph Arabi Shala was talking about started between uh, 2020 and 2021. So have you tried... In fact, let me even extend it to 2020. So I renewed my own passport in 2020 and it, too, it did not take long, to be honest, um, from when I registered on the internet to when I uh, went to do my capturing to when I went to pick up, it was very flawless. But when it now got to my husband's turn, or more, he, he used his eye to see Shege and he tried to get his own this year. So I'm asking for, I don't know, maybe, maybe I was lucky. Maybe they knew who I was. I don't know. But my process was very smooth and his own was not smooth at all. Joe Baba is on the line. Hi, Joe Baba. Yeah, afternoon, President Sandra. Good afternoon. Welcome. Yeah, Joe Baba. Honestly speaking, um, you were quite very, very uh, um, lucky, just as mine. I did my own first passport 2009, and it was just so free. And so even though I wasn't having that experience of doing it on, online by myself, I went to the Ikoi, you know, ask it, you know, did it that day and got it that day at a very, very you know, cheap rate. But te- six, seven, ten, twelve years back now, it's not been the same. Charlie, I must tell you, I, I, I assist people for getting passports. And I know too many of these immigration, you know, officers that it's always this booklet is out of reach, short of this, short of that. And I keep on asking myself, if you are telling me booklet, this booklet, that, just because we are in Lagos, if you go to somewhere, you know, in a good state or Ibadan, you get this thing very easy. That is the more reason that I will agree with um, uh, Mr. Arek Beshola. He, um, do you think that there's anything his ministry could be doing? Do you, do you think that there's the, more they can do to check this? They thing? should be the ones. Like you said, what what are we, the citizens, want to do? He, he, he has fished it out that there are some people, you know, maneuvering everything. Because the, the, the amount is saved now. If I tell you the amount is saved now, Sandra, you won't believe it. Thank God you see, even said you are doing it for your, uh, for your person. No, but so, the, the amount is not, um, if you do it online, it's not even up to 40000 for you, five you, years. You, you just had a call of somebody that said she did it online. I said, that is the best, that is the way they will do it. They will frustrate you. But when you now said you want to get it or they will be taking all your, you know, um, document all around by themselves, that is where they will bill you very well. And when they bill you, they will ask you to go and ask every other officer. That is almost the same thing. You won't have any other choice. No, of no, that's that's actually not accurate. So I'm talking about my own personal experience. I wasn't billed. My husband was also not billed, but it was really frustrating for him. They kept telling him, "Oh, your passport is not around. Oh, there's passport. There's booklet uh, shortage. You know, but well, but nobody asked him for money. Nobody asked for money. Nobody asked him for money. I, 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 like, like, I still have close to like three or four people now that the, the, their collection is pending just because of 
they have done the capturing, but too many, is it, I don't even know if it is too many jobs that, you know, backdated to when people have not collected, but more applicants are coming day by day, day by day. So I feel, I feel the minister should sit down with all the, you know, um, or, or guys all around the zoners and let them fish out these people that are, you know, just hijacking. I want to believe there are some booklets around each of the state, not only Port Harcourt or Lagos, but it should be free and fair. If I want to do it online, do it online. If you need an assistant that somebody should take it there, let, let the person go with you and you connect and you get it in less than three days. All right. Thank you very much, Joe Baba, for calling 99.3. Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling. Thank you. I'm a first-time caller. My name is Agnes. I'm glad you're here, Agnes. Welcome. Thank you. So this um, passport, passport situation, issue, mm-hmm. I think the minister needs maybe like some mystery shoppers. They've got what he said is theory. He needs to go there, maybe not himself, mm. so that he can see practically what is going on. Mm. What the last two callers have said is mm. the truth. Okay. You try it online. When you go there, you see the number of people waiting. Mm. You'll be frustrated. Mm. And then secondly... I hear, I think, did you say 10,000 booklets or 13,000 booklets in Lagos? Yes, 13,000 in Lagos. That's too small. Mm. That's too small. For the number of people that want to get passports, that is inadequate. And when there is lower demand and supply, Mm -hmm. what's going to happen? The prices, the people there that are already familiar with lining their pockets with money would hold the the booklets. So do they have records of how many Nigerians are applying online? Why are they not making those things available? And the truth is, if it's 40,000 online, I can bet you maybe for you to get it processed, it could be times two or times three of that. I mean, my sister recently wanted to process her passport, and they told her the earliest she could get captured is in October. Mm. So I'm not sure the minister, the reforms might be on paper, but he needs people on ground Mm -hmm. to actually monitor, let him send some mystery shoppers or even nigerians can go there and use twitter give feedback to them say this is what we're experiencing and then who is being held accountable all right agnes thank you so much for calling so if you if you do it online the official price for a 64 page uh nigerian passport with 10 year validity period is 70,000 that with 5 years validity period is 35,000 right uh that's for 64 pages right then if you're looking for uh the new 32 page passport with five year validity that's twenty five thousand. that's the one i got that's the one my husband got and we did everything online in fact uh you know by the time my husband did his he chose the date he wanted to go and capture he chose the date he wanted to go and um yeah and capture you know uh, on the on the on the website so these are some of the things they, they make available for you on the website. The website is portal.immigration.gov.ng. Portal, as in P-O-R-T-A-L, dot immigration, dot G-O-V, dot N-G. And it's very smooth, very straightforward. You just need to have your old passport or uh, if, you're, if you're getting a new one, you ha- need to have your NIN and things like that to be able to get it done. The problem, Coco now starts when you get uh, to the uh, passport office. You know, that's when uh, reports of different things start to happen. So they're telling you, hey, you want to do self-service. Okay, go to this line, go to that line. I remember that even when I did mine, all the forms that filled on the website I had to come and now fill fresh forms and I was asking them why am I refilling these forms when I've just spent how many minutes doing it uh, on the website in my house and they were like eh that one is for their own this one is for our own record I was very amused by all of it but nobody was asking me to pay a bribe it was going very smoothly it was going uh, uh, very easy for me so I just wanted to observe the process you know and um, that was what happened with me you know so I I, I'm asking again, if you just tuned in, what do you think about Ralph Aregbe Shola saying that pass, uh, passports know they short anywhere? 
that um, it's people inside NIS and outside NIS that are frustrating the process. And if you think, oh, yes, he's right, he knows what he's talking about, do you think his ministry, the Interior Ministry, is doing enough to checkmate those people who are frustrating the process? Have you tried to get a passport this year? Have you tried to get a passport um, within the last two years when these reforms kicked off? What has your experience been like? 99.3, hello? Hello, Sandra, how are you? I'm very well. Thanks for calling. Uh yeah, Alex here. You see, Sandra, I always go back to technology. Hmm? Yes. Do you know that if the government were serious, they can enlist certain of their services to be done in conjunction with the banks? INEC, uh, immigration, driver's license, uh, social security, you know, any of those things along that line. Do you know? Okay. The banks are some of the most uh, regulated uh, environments in Nigeria. You can, you can work with them. Technology can allow you to do that so that you can walk into the branch of your bank or any branch and apply for, for any of these government services. Where, we, where Nigerians not applying, where they're they not buying scratch cards from banks in those days. Hmm. Is it that the, the, the scratch card, I mean, the, the, the jam result is less important than the, than the, than the um, international passport? Is your checkbook, Sandra, your checkbook to you that has all the money you have in the world, is it, is it less important than your passport? You see, all of these things there, uh, you see, Nigeria is like built to function for thugs. I'm telling you, Sandra, Nigeria, the, the Nigerian system, when the Nigerian government adopts a technology, it's like that child. Have you ever seen some families where they have this one child where everybody has to defer to? He's not the oldest of the children. He's lazy. He lacks. He's all of those things. But somehow nobody can question him because his parents are dead. Nobody can ask him questions. They, everybody just keeps deferring to him. If he wants extra pocket money, they give him extra pocket money. If he wants uh, to take daddy's car out, they allow him. You know, that's just the way we function. See, the only reason why Eric Bishop still has his job eh, hmm. is because he's not a professional anything. It's because he's a politician. If he were a professional doctor, Sandra, he would have lost his license. If he were a professional lawyer, he would have lost his license. If he were a professional dentist, think anything. He would have lost his life. He would have lost his job. Hmm. Okay. All right. Very strong words. Thank you very much for calling, Alex. Uh, now, of course, some people argue with you that even professional doctors in Nigeria don't lose their jobs with the high number of malpractice uh, uh, reports that uh, Nigerians often share about their experiences with these things. But uh, we're getting ready to take a break. So let's uh, take uh, a few messages off of social media and then we'll take uh, this break coming up. This message says, Sandra, uh, currently my brother... I helped in connection in doing his passport since May, has not collected his own up until now. Zekison from Ogun State with that message there. Uh, we've got a message here that says, I, in my case, I applied online. After waiting for five months and one day, I was taken to a room in a Laosa immigration office and, uh, and was scheduled and, and we and we were shown two different files, one for online applicant and second for backyard payments. My sister, the minister knows the senior officers are deeply involved in this and knows what to do we have nothing to do here all right you didn't leave your name but thank you very much for sending your message in and that looks like an american number we'll take a break now when we come back let me take you to river state there's so much happening in the politics there you don't want to miss that particular story i'm sandra as don't go away in vaccine mm -hmm. and i think they have the rights they cannot go to not to stop insecurity it's to force people to take vaccine let them come and kill me i can never take it 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. The, the Peter Ufai Summer Clinic is back. Parents, guardians, or institutions, get your child or pupils engaged this summer with their preferred... The debaters are ready. The panel of judges are ready. The judges have decided. The prize money is ready. One million naira. There's only one question left, Lagos. Are you, the audience, ready? It's the August edition of the I Beg to Differ Debate Tournament. I am Sandra Ezekwesili, your moderator. Join me from August 8th as the best student debaters go head to head. Weekdays at 4 on 99.3 Nigeria Info FM. This tournament is supported by Webster University, RLG Communications, Obiwizi.com, Booker Hot, and Storm Body Spray. 
The debaters are ready. The panel of judges are ready. The judges have decided. The prize money is ready. One million naira. There's only one question left, Lagos. Are you, the audience, ready? It's the August edition of the I Beg to Differ Debate Tournament. I am Sandra Ezekwesili, your moderator. Join me from August 8th as the best student debaters go head to head. Weekdays at 4 on 99.3 Nigeria Info FM. This tournament is supported by Webster University, RLG Communications, Obiwizi.com, Book a Heart, and Storm Body Spray. <laughs> I beg you, no carry this grammar, don't give me. Today, now me and you go do this work out. <laughs> the Night Show. Showing Wednesdays at 8 p.m. on Wazobia TV and Wazobia Max TV. UHF 57 Lagos. TSTV Channel 259. Go TV 98. Star Times 195. And Free TV 744. Sponsored by Number. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. Yes, on weekend, maybe purging Atiku supporters from Rivers PDP leadership. And that's our second story. Uh, the Cold War between <laughs> the PDP's presidential candidate and the party's most powerful governor seems to be getting hot. It's, 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 it's seven hot, hot. Uh, peace talks have stalled over two points. One, Wiki wants the party chairman, uh, Iochia Ayu, to step down for a southerner. And two, Wiki wants Atiku to commit to serving only one term as president. And the PDP and Atiku's camp have rejected both. Oh, yeah, they've rejected both. And now Wiki seems to be going after Atiku supporters in the reverse PDP. Lee Maiba. He's a former senator from River State. He's been on, uh, he's, seen, he's seen as a PDP leader in Ogoni land. And he's accusing Wike of punishing him and some other leaders for visiting Atiku without his permission. Specifically, he mentioned Celestino Mehia and Austin Okbara. Omehia is a former governor. He's the party leader in Inquiry local government area. Okmara is a former deputy speaker of the House of Reps and the party leader in Port Harcourt. But Lee Maiba says that Mwike has removed them as leaders because three of them visited Atiku without permission. <laughs> Maiba also accused Mwike of removing him from the board of the Elechi Amadi Polytechnic over his support of Atiku. Let me play you something that uh, Lee Maiba had to say. Let me play it for you. And the Polytechnic, he have refused to fund the Polytechnics because of me. He have refused to even allow us to employ one soul because of me, because I'm a goni. So, all this thing I'm telling you, this, I mean, this is the situation that we are pressing. If we allow it to overflow, it will explode. And when, you, when I had the other man talking about project, 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 listen to me. I want you and we get to quote me. What is one single SME scheme that is running in River State where people are tapping from to improve their life? One industry. One, one industry that is running in River State where people can go and get employment. I don't want to talk much. I am a PDP man. I want PDP to win election. I am not campaigning for APC. So I stop here. Lee Maba speaking there. That's not the only thing he said. He said a number of other things, and I would love to play some of those things for you. It's to support the candidate of the party without negotiation with anybody. And so when this arises, and they clearly tell them, let me see how you can campaign for Tiku in this state. You cannot campaign for Tiku in this state without my permission. No one in this state can work for Tiku. On, on uh, Friday night, he invited 
Diogonis and ask the, speech, the member representing my constituency to tell me clearly that let him see how I will campaign for Tiku in this state. That he is waiting for me and he will finish me and that I should be ready for him, that he's ready for me if I come to campaign for Tiku. These are all surprise moments. You have 50 candidates plus a Tiku. Let's say we now have 51 candidates to campaign for in River State. Why, why excise a Tiku? These are clear facts. I am telling you with evidence. If you call us in the panel, call the mayor, they will tell you this. This is the basis for this for this side uh, brokers. And let me give, take you a little back. We can refuse any of us in River State to buy from to campaign. For, for the governorship of River State. He bought 14 of us from and want any of us not to campaign. Anybody who tried to campaign, we care is ready to take on you. But I follow him to 20 something state campaigning to delegates. We don't know who is a delegate in Rivers. The list of delegates were not published. At the end of the day, he called me on the 24th and told me that I cannot be governor, that I can pay for Tiku in 2019 without his permission. And that I even, child, I even formed friends of Tiku. I even opened office for Tiku. So because of that, it is over. He cannot hand over the state to his enemy. Lee Maver speaking there. He had more things to say. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to play just one final thing. Just one final thing that he had to say about the PDP candidate in River State. Just this final one. And then we'll move on to the rest of the story. We open office for Tiku. So because of that, it is over. He cannot hand over the state to his enemy. This were precise words. And pointed out as his staff. In the presence of his staff. I've never seen that humiliation in my life. And told me that this staff, this Secretary General, is a very good Secretary General that will still be accountable to him at least the next six months or one year. I am a tiger, and that I should not proceed to the primaries. That if I proceed to the primaries, he, I will get zero votes because the Secretary General will, get, will take the first position, the Commissioner for Finance will take the second position, the Commissioner for Work will take the test position that I will not get any vote because that is what he want to do. So he have already shared the vote. But this is a man who came to the center, came to Abuja, and participated freely. He spoke to delegates and came second. So who was supposed to, and all of us, he did this to all of us in Rivers. He have never went day call us and say, look, my brother, I'm sorry about what happened at the primaries. Let's reconcile and move the party forward. He have never called and said, my brother, take it easy. He did not discuss with us about the candidate he want to use. He fooled us to the end. All of us have capacity to cause trouble and leave the party. But we kept quiet, thinking that with the abundance of Atiku Abubakar, we have a presidential candidate who may win election at the center so that we have where to look at. Since he has finished with us in the state, he told him all, he, all the people he, he gave position, he called them, have a meeting with them, and tell them that we have retired all of us. These are very provocative. These are not chocolates. And so, and he told me that if he failed the primary on one of our campaigns that he will, he will collapse the whole system if they do to him what they did to Dili. He will collapse the system and nobody, everybody will go home. That is the fear here. And so these are not time for discussion. Lee Maber speaking there, former senator from River State, PDP leader in Ogoni land, accusing Wiki of all kinds of things. Meanwhile... Governor Nyesum Wike hosted Songolu yesterday. Uh, sorry, a day before yesterday. Uh, he invited him to commission the water lines flyover in Port Harcourt. Songolu says that um, it was a gesture of politics without bitterness. But Wike said that uh, <laughs> things are about to get hotter. 
Because people are wondering that, uh, you know, is this a sign that Wiki could be flirting with the APC? Here's what Wiki said. I'm not running an election, but I'm happy. I ran for presidential primaries. And they all saw it. We have won the election. If not because of religious and ethnic. No problem. So far is a but as a reverse man, I feel very, very proud. Yes, so we can as you carry rivers to turn up to go. We must follow simple barra to the next level. As a South South man, I feel very, very proud. You can't take it away from us. I've always been consistent in my life. My history is very straightforward. I don't play here and play here. I see white is white. I see black is uh, black. And we have never been afraid of fighting anybody. I've not started politics. After commissioning of projects, we'll start politics. Then we know who is who. As I did tell you them, Oh my god, Lagos! That's the current situation in the UK versus Atiku beef. How you see up? <laughs> Let's talk. 0700993993993. Will they resolve in time to take on Tirubu and Obi? Or do you think Wike will leave? Do you think Wike will stay in the PDP but sit out the election? What do you think about the revelations from Lee Maber? about the primaries in Rivers, about Wiki allegedly buying the forms for all of them and telling them to not bother contesting that he has chosen who he wants. What do you think about everything that you've heard on this story? I am Sandra Ezekwesili. This is Nigeria Info 99.3, Lagos. Let's talk. Hello, thanks for calling us. Hey, I greet you, Sandra. Kevin, how are you waiting the apple for Rivers State, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> all this that I do, that he is doing now, will end after he leaves office next year. He will become politically irrelevant. All this that I do is doing is because he's still a governor. That's all. He really leaves the office as, as a governor. We can become politically irrelevant. I'm saying it today, mark my words. Hmm. A man that told us clearly that he, he doesn't want to play second fiddle. He said it clearly. And he went to an election, to a primaries. You lost. Other people have lost. We have a vice president today who lost the families. He has not gone anywhere touching anybody and subjugating anybody. You lost in the families. You saw me to congratulate the man and move on with the party. You are going to fight unnecessary war, progressing in error, causing problems everywhere in your party in an election period like this. I'm not a member of PDPO. I don't belong to PDPO. I detest a lot of things about the PDPO. But I see this. That's a very wrong move from this man. For me, the PDP can do without him. All these one people, some people have been saying, eh, we can, eh, it's indispensable. Nobody is indispensable anywhere. Hmm. The PDP should suspend him. What are they waiting for? I think about that. All of these, they should suspend this man before I put them in trouble. If they can do without him, I've seen big weeks that have led the PDP. And you know, the PDP is still not collapse. A small president told his card openly, and that, and did all that. Yeah, the PDP did not collapse. The PDP is still standing. Hmm. So the, AP, the PDP should suspend him now. They should suspend him and move, and move ahead with the campaign. Or else, it's going to be a big discussion to them. Hmm. Thank you. Kevin, thank you very much for calling. Uh, we've got Nonya on the line. Hi, Nonya. Hello? Ooh, that's unfortunate. 99.3, hello. <laughs> Thanks for calling. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Okay, my name is John. John, you're John, calling our friend. number for women. You're calling our number for women. You have to give us a call back, okay? 99.3, hello. Hello, Sandra. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? As you they paint them, he they see us. As you they see them, he they paint them. He just back in. Hello, Sandra. Hello. <laughs> Rike is just... I don't blame Atiku not using him as a vice president because he's too arrogant. Okay. 
He, in fact, I don't know how to qualify that man. I don't know how he gets to that governor. Governor six. Have you said no he take pen, pen, pen sick for APC instead of that in go day for PDP? Mm. Cancer go kill her. Mm. Make it they go there, they, they wait up. <laughs> My dad, they go expose in Yash. <laughs> don't talk that, that is for radio. Eh? Don't talk that one for radio. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much for calling us. Oh my goodness, it's hilarious because um, um, Wiki has a dance when that song is coming, when that song plays. I see they pay them, he got a sweet us, I see they sweet us. He go, and that, that dance is hilarious. Um, the, all of what is happening in River State, you know what, it, the, the funny thing about it is that this, this their politicking is about to have real life consequences for the citizens of River State. That's what I'm really, really worried about. We've got Prince YS on the line. Hi, yeah. Prince YS. Welcome. How are you today? I'm, I'm very well. my lady Sandra. How are you? I'm very okay, my dear. Welcome. The, you see, pertaining to Wiki and the Atiku, mm. yeah. I want the matter to be resolved. Okay. But you want me to do one thing because I just this, this one as is fighting now. For me, I don't I'm not, I'm not against him. You must fight for our rights. And initially my pain is this. When PDP say they want to conduct the uh, uh, German chief, then you take it to the north. And when you become the, the president you see, they say it's, it's everybody is free to contest. That's my grievance. So if UK is not demanding that that chairman should resign mm. and give it to the Southerner, nothing but about it. I know politicians, they, 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 they just be like a footballer. Mm. They, they won't come to the... Tomorrow they are not going to come. Mm. But I just want UK to meddle down, but he must fight for his right. He fight for his right. All right, Prince Wyatt, thank you very much for calling us. Now, let me bring you our final story from the current Rivers governor being upset with his uh, party flag bearer to the former Rivers governor being upset with his flag bearer. Our third story is about Rotimi Amechi and Bola Tinubu. We have lots of similarities between the Amechi Tinubu situation and the Wike Atiku situation. Both Amechi and Wike came second in their primaries, and both of them are unhappy about how the flag bearer has allegedly treated them after the primary. Amechi followers are complaining that he's not being consulted when it comes to campaign team selection and all the other plans. And then there's a the question of River State because it, during our, our second story, I told you that Babajide Songulu helped Mwike commission a project in River State. Apparently, the Amechi camp did not like that. They are also raising the issue of permission and consultation. Just like Mwike did with Okbara and Omehia. For them, since Amechi is the APC leader in the state, Tinubu allies like uh, Songulu and Fayemi should not be visiting Mwike, his rival, without consulting him first. We heard from Eze Chukwemekeze, the Rivers APC leader in the Amechi camp, and he said, quote, If Amechi decides to rejoin PDP, it may not be of his own making, but due to the acts and attitude of Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu and managers of his campaign team, coupled with the new style of leadership of those currently running APC. Let me state unequivocally that the manner and ways Amechi and his political team are being neglected, both in the formation of the APC Presidential Campaign Council and most of the activities of the party since after the party uh, uh, presidential convention is not the best way to treat a leader with the stature or status of Amechi. You don't do that. To worsen the situation, the manner in which Tinubu and his associates continued to associate with Governor Yesom Wika of River State without any consultation with Amechi or any mem member of his political family is not only sad, but very unfortunate. End quote. Tinsley Shelley. Heavy words there. And remember, we've talked about this beef between Amechi and Tinubu before uh, over Magnus Abe. You remember, right? Um, I told you that from 2016 until earlier this year, the Rivers APC had two factions, the Amechi faction and the Abe faction. Tinubu was Abe's biggest supporter at the national level. And now Abe has left APC and he's running for governor under the SDP banner. Amechi supporters are accusing Tinubu of still supporting Abe, which would be anti-party activity. 
They say he's sponsoring Abe at the expense of the APC candidate, Toye Cole. Toye Cole is Amechi's preferred candidate. So it looks like River State is turning into this complex political battlefield. But that I think that's also mostly always the case with, with River State, you know, especially since there's been like two dominant parties in the state. It's always this complex battlefield. You have both the APC and PDP flag bearers at war with the party leaders in the state who are a, a sitting governor and a former governor. And we're hearing and seeing signals that both of these party leaders are flirting with the rival party. The question then becomes, which party will be damaged more by this? Will the other parties, like Labour, for instance, or uh, Magnus Abe's SDP, be able to take advantage? 0700993-993-993. Are Tinubu and the APC taking Amechi for granted? Are visits to Wiki by Songo Lufaemi and other Tinubu allies a sign of a possible alliance? Where does that leave Amechi? Will Tinubu support Magnus Abe over Toye Ko? Will Amechi send uh, feelers out to Tinuku, uh, to, to uh, Atiku, sorry. What is going on in River States? <laughs> 0700993-993-993. Lego, share your thoughts on this story. Uh, we've got uh, WhatsApp as well. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. Hello. Thanks for calling us. Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling. What's your name, sir? Good uh, evening, Madam Sandra. What's your name, sir? Yeah, my name is Ben. Calling from here. Ben, you have to turn your radio off. All right, Ben, turn your radio off, then call me back. 99.3, hello. Hello. Thanks for calling. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name? Yeah, that is a Tony Sandra. Call her from Ikeja. Yeah, can I from Ikeja? Welcome. Go ahead. Hello? Oh, what's happening? 99.3, hello. Hello. Thank you for calling. What's your name? My name is Altine. Altine. Hey, long time no here. Where you day? Hey, Sandy, how are you? I'm fine. Where you go? Where you disappear go? I did, I did now. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did Sandra. <laughs> Siba, mm. this wiki matter, eh? Mm. Wiki, 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 what you don't like, and then you are still doing it to your own uh, people in that, in the, there. Mm. Look at how it intimidated that former senator. Mm. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. You see, but all, for all I care, Wiki is just playing God. But he was, like the first caller said, mm. when after this dispensation, after his governorship, mm. he will become useless. He's playing God. God will humble him. Mm. He's just, he's just playing God, but he will be humbled very soon. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Altine, thank you very much for calling. 99.3, hello. Hello. Hi, Sandra Ezekwesteli. Hi. My baby. What's up? <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? What's How are you? I'm fine. This is this is your one and only town crier, baby. My town crier of life. Welcome. Yes, I beg make I do my town crier. I don't say I don't cry. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Sandra Ezekwesteli. Welcome, My baby. Welcome. Sharp, 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 sharp. Time no day. Time no day. Sharp, sharp. Sandra, mm. Sandra, wahala, don't, you don't wear bone straight. <laughs> Okay, this one I have to This one my bed, the eyes here. No worry, we'll celebrate. We'll go run now. We'll go run now. Not small. Not today. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Love you. Love you too. Bye, no, yeah. Uh, do we have time to take one more call? Yes, we do. We've got two minutes, so I can take one more call. 99.3, hello. hello. How are you? Uh, uh, Joe, good evening. This is uh, Kenna calling back again, Sandra. Welcome, Kenna. Yeah, see, Sandra, there's something I didn't like about this man called Wiki. Okay. People like us who were in France before. But he's making things more difficult for us. Me, personally, I'm obedient. Okay. Now, someone like Wiki is acting like what happened to the actual U.S. The director of started well, I in fact I like him. Hmm. But when he start playing a god, that will put not against him. And you see what happened. Hmm. Wiki is not a man of integrity. He's not a man he was. If you remember Drew that's a uh, PDP national cover, mm -hmm. before he he, he talked to Paul, there a comment he make. Hmm. He said he is a three party man. That if anybody wins apart for him, that he's going to support anybody. Hmm. But he knows he's going to win. 
So you see what you do, now? Mm-hmm. And again, that, that's one thing I like about this article. Thing. Mm-hmm. Article is multi majority. The man doesn't make noise. Why is he making noise? They said the anti voters are making noise. And who is he told him that the university is going to vote the APC or, or, or PDP? Hmm. Do you understand me? Now? So I don't like somebody who people are saying that you do well. Hmm. And you keep people playing God. Hmm. Who is this weekend? Who is this weekend before? All right, Emeka. Thank you very much for calling. 99.3. Hello. Hello, Sandra. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name, ma'am? Sandra, my love. Well done. Thank you. Hmm, there is nothing I will know here in this country. Weekend story. So interesting. Sandra, this mm-hmm. is time for us to watch Super Story. <laughs> Please play that tape again. They switch that. Okay, thank you for calling us. <laughs> One of my favorite weekend songs. Weekend, they come. Uh, uh, oh, God, how's the rest of the song? I'll, I'll ask my husband on WhatsApp during the break. He'll tell me, and I can sing it for you people. It's a very hilarious song. Oh, my God. Rivers politics is always, you know, it's, it's always something to look out for. It's always, like, my highlight of political season because there's so much going on. I just wish that it will all happen all the intrigues will happen and happen uh without like any violence or any bloodshed because a few days ago you already heard uh years of wiki on the news talking about um uh his opposition gathering cultists to help them run uh 2023 elections so i'm hearing that and my alarm bells are, only, are already popping off but we'll keep our, our eye on river states don't worry that you're in lagos does not mean you don't know what's happening in other parts of the country yeah so this is this this these are the biggest stories for the day we'll take a break when we come back i'll keep taking your calls i'll keep taking your messages off of social media there's so many messages on whatsapp so i'm going to try and um, take as many of them as possible i'm sandra as the don't go away the debaters are ready the panel of judges are ready the judges have decided the prize money is ready one million naira there's only one question left lagos are you the audience ready it's the august edition of the i beg to differ debate tournament i am sandra ezekwesili your moderator join me from august 8th as the best student debaters go head to head weekdays at four on 99.3 nigeria in 4fm this tournament is supported by webster university rlg communications obwc.com book a hot and storm body spray On WhatsApp, we've got so many comments. Let's try and take as many of them as we can. Here's this message. Um, you didn't leave your name, but you say, uh, Sandra, Woo. Uh, hold on. In my case, I applied online. Okay, hold on. I've taken that uh, particular message before. Uh, Sandra, my name is uh, Ugo Chuku from Coca Lagos. The song, Sandra, we que de como... You know, go green, you know, go green for your head. Oh, yeah, that's a song. That's a song. Hold on, uh, my guy sent it by WhatsApp. Let me play it for you people. <laughs> we can they come, <laughs> you know, go green, you know, go green, stay for your house. Oh. <laughs> Chorus two is. We can they come, oh. you know, go green, you know, go green, but you go green. Oh. That's my favorite weekend song. Oh my god, of course, that doesn't mean that I endorse any of the things he does, but that's my favorite weekend song. Uh, we've got Matthew from Badagri. 
that says, uh, who says, Wike is not a student of history. If he is, he would have learned a little lesson from observing how Fayoshi is now. Uh, this message says, Sandra, please let Wike ask God to love you how far in Akwai bomb when he moved from PDP to APC. Wike is trying to kill his political career. You are not bigger than your party. Uh, that's Clement from Suruleri. We've got someone who says Balga cannot seek to save a life. No, he can't. <laughs> uh, this message is from Osaho Emmanuel from Suruleri who says, Why are you guys making this whole thing of Mwike a gigantic issue? Who tell them, say, either PDP or APC go win election, that they are already sharing position for themselves? That will show you the true color of both, uh, of, uh, both the two political gladiators that don't care about us. They only care about themselves. Uh, this is what I tell my friends. The looting, the embezzlement of all these political thieves is nothing but a disease. Uh, and greed anymore is disease. Okay. I'm not sure what you meant to write there. I think you wrote it like, you know, very... Um, I think you wrote it very quickly, and so you, you couldn't get your point across. Here's a message from Comrade Enang, who says, PDP should suspend Wike immediately for peace to reign. But he has not done any anti, uh, anti-party anti activities. They can only suspend you if you've, if you've done uh, anti-party things. And um, I don't think they can accuse him of anti-party activity. Uh, here's a message that says, I've been trying to renew my passport. I have no choice but to yield to their own decision in June at the immigration office. I went for capturing two weeks ago. I was told to come with 10,000 naira to fast track the collection within two to three weeks. They made an error in spelling my name, Michael, instead of Michael, and my NIN was not showing. It was blank on their portal, which made me go back for capturing. I was told to fast, to fast track it now. is 15,000 naira. Mike Nigondo with that message there. Mike, I'm really sorry that you experienced that. And what I hate is that there's no reporting mechanism for NIS. At least not one I'm aware of. I'll, I'll look into it and see if I can find a reporting mechanism for things uh, like this so that you can actually report it and you know get those officers who are telling you this to fix up ha huh. all right let's bring you the news at four once the news is over it will be time for the glass ceiling i'm looking forward to today's glass ceiling if you're a breastfeeding mother or you have a breastfeeding partner and you'd love to learn about breastfeeding, learn how to provide the proper support, stick around. That conversation will begin in a few seconds. It's four o'clock. The debaters are ready. The panel of judges. The debaters are ready. The panel of judges are ready. The judges have decided. The prize money is ready. One million naira. There's only one question left, Lagos. Are you, the audience, ready? It's the August edition of the I Beg to Differ Debate Tournament. I am Sandra Ezekwesili, your moderator. Join me from August 8th as the best student debaters go head to head. Weekdays at 4 on 99.3 Nigeria Info FM. This tournament is supported by Webster University, RLG Communications, Obiwizi.com, Booker Hot, and Storm.